All right, have and have not fans. Now, just another Derek video. I have to admit, I have to um, say I am blown away by the feedback I got on the video I did. Um, Will Hannah forgive Derek? I mean, that was one of those lengthy videos. And to be completely honest, just like I said in the video, I could have went on for like another hour or so because there's so much to dissect from the should Hannah forgive Derek? Is it what he did unforgivable? And well, he's a changed man and the proof is in the pudding. And what will Candace do when she finds out about all this? And it's just a, a great conversation piece that I would love uh, to have like a group format discussion on. There's just so many ways to, um, you know, break that thing down. Uh, hence why this video is being recorded and it's having to do with uh, Catherine saying, you know, that she wants Derek to call her as soon as he gets the voice message and i did rewatch the scene and, and you know pretty much uh catherine is still reeling from the news that hannah gave her and I, when i first saw the episode i'm like oh man here we go she's going to end up shooting someone but then i went back and rewatched the episode in that scene particularly i'm like you know what she didn't sound too malicious over the phone but then again to be fair she probably wanted to not leave a voice message that was highly aggressive because then Derek would know exactly why Catherine is asking for him to call. So there's that. But before going any further into this uh, video, just a quick shout out to a friend of mine, Sarah Marie, who just put out a book on Amazon called Just a Flame Flickering in the Dark. Um, it's a collection of her poems and it's about $9 on um, Amazon free shipping. I mean, I got the prime, so yeah, it's $9. Um, I think there are about 30 plus poems in here. And to be completely honest, just reading through the book, you know, it definitely inspired me to um, consider putting out a book of my own work in the near future. So yeah, just a flame flickering in the dark. I'll put a link in the comment section below and uh, pin it to the top so you can check it out if you're interested. And uh, I'd really appreciate it. And I'm sure she would too. Uh, definitely an inspirational book for me. A lot about, you know, love and uh, faith. Just really inspiring, you know, in terms of putting my work out there. So, yeah, shout out to Sarah Marie. And into this video, and I've touched upon this in the episode review, live stream with Chandler, and then the video I did about, you know, should Hannah or will Hannah forgive Derek? What I don't want is Catherine to overreact like at first glance is like look I understand that's your friend Hannah's your friend and I'm so glad in that conversation that Catherine had with Hannah it was established that Catherine had no idea that he raped in his past all she knew was that it was armed robbery he was arrested for but ever since he got out of jail he's been on the straight and narrow path so she just figured that you know him and Hannah would hit it off and they did because based off of um, what Derek was saying, you know, when Catherine was trying to first hook him up, it's like, you know, his wife died about a year ago and between, you know, Veronica and Catherine both trying to hook him up with women, neither one could, you know, find a woman that Derek felt connected with. But all of a sudden Hannah is the one and, you know, that pretty much leads into one thing and another. But it is interesting to find that, you know, Catherine wants to defend her friend, which is good. But at the same time, it's like, does she really have the right to? And that was one of the controversial things I was worried about discussing in the Will Hannah Forgive Derek video, because I didn't I didn't want to undermine the criminal act of, in, you know, inhumane crime of rape, because that is such a serious topic. And it's not something you could just tell someone to get over because. I, I get it like in the comment section I was reading them and it was like well she's a Christian and Christians forgive and that's completely understandable but at the same time that's and I use quotation marks easy to say if you weren't the one that was raped you know it's kind of like um, and no I'm not trying to say um, you know or abortion is right or wrong but it's kind of like the people who are saying are condemning those who get abortions because they don't want to have a baby out of rape it's kind of like well how can you really say that like yeah well you're ending someone's life and all but it's like you weren't the one that was raped and you're not the one who's going to have to deal with the consequences of having a baby produced by rape and again i am not saying what's right or what's wrong but it's just one of those things where 
if you're on the outside looking in, what, what's that saying? People throw stones at glass houses. You can see through it, but you're not really dealing what's going on what's, with what's going on on the inside. So how can you really, you know, throw stones to make cracks and possibly destroy the house? So if I were to make an education, here's what I want to happen. Catherine sitting down with Derek, no guns or knives because we know how Catherine can be. It's just telling her everything because remember that night when um, Malik came over and uh, Hannah dealt with that and, you know, Derek was there. Then Catherine came over, gave her a happy pill and everything. Um, you know, she talked what Catherine was walked to the truck by Derek because remember earlier that day. And when I say day, I mean like several episodes ago, um, Hannah said that she was a bit concerned because she overheard Derek and Veronica talking and, you know, Catherine asked Derek to walk her to the truck and they could talk and she pretty much was like what's up with you and Veronica and it's like don't worry I'll take care of it because you know Catherine wasn't sure what Derek's relationship with Veronica was and it's like well just you know be careful around her she's a dangerous woman and I'm just like I'm wondering if it's going to come down to Catherine wondering everything about Derek you know hopefully this leads to more backstory how exactly Veronica got him out of jail and why I could definitely see a lot of this happening. And I don't, I mean, imagine if Catherine confronted Veronica about that. And then she's ecstatic to know that, well, I didn't even know. I didn't even plan on having the guy that raped Hannah being someone that you set up with Hannah. This is glorious. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. And then I, I don't even know if the Derek Jeffrey thing really works at this point you know like if Derek is the father of Jeffrey I mean can you imagine what uh um Veronica would do because we know that Quincy tried to force himself on her twice I wonder what the relationship between Derek and Veronica would have been if she was aware that he raped someone let alone little old Hannah and is the mother of that whore Candace I mean that can you imagine how she finds out talk about a bad taste in her mouth when she finds out that she had sex with the father of Candace that would be interesting. That would be very interesting. So, I mean, I hope that Catherine doesn't do anything too rash. I don't feel like it's really her place to punish Derek because it's something he did years ago. Once again, not undermining rape because something I for failed to mention in my video about will Hannah forgive Derek is, you know, sin is sin no matter what, you know, shoplifting from the store, rape, murder. Obviously, I, I mean, in the court of law, different crimes result in different punishments and consequences. But in terms of, you know, the Lord's eyes, sin is sin. But, you know, Derek is an example of someone who has sin, but at the same time, he technically didn't go to jail for his crime. He went to jail for a crime, but not the crime of rape. If anything, you know, he was almost like in a spiritual prison where he's been praying for the day he can find the woman he did that to and um, ask for forgiveness. So in a way, God answered Derek's prayer request because, well, lo and behold, he's encounter he's come in contact with the woman he raped and asked for forgiveness. And obviously, obviously, um, you know, she wasn't quick to forgive because she really didn't respond. It was more like, please leave. And that's completely understandable. So what I feel to, um, excuse me, what I feel that Catherine should do is simply dig for information, but it is not her place to, you know, do anything drastic to Derek. And I mean, once again, we have to deal with the whole, you know, wide in the gun thing, if she's going to survive that. And, you know, I, I feel like a lot of stuff is going on. I mean, because Catherine doesn't give a damn about going to jail but at the same time, you have a son who's about to chase you around the house with a shotgun. Then you get a phone call that your friend was raped in the past by the man that you set her up with. There's going to be a lot of crazy shit that goes down on this show soon. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you think Catherine wants or what do you think Catherine will do to Derek? Um, do you think she'll just say, you know, like Hannah said, I don't want she doesn't want to see you anymore. This and that. There's going to be so many rep cushions from this i feel like there's going to be more backstory exposed to anything else and this is what i'm talking about but uh with that being said guys please like this video comment your thoughts subscribe to the channel uh it really helps out the numbers and uh, i will talk to you soon 
Congratulations on making it to the end of this video. If you like what you just saw, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, or if you have anything you would like to add to the video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. If you want to keep up with me on social media, go to the description box. All of my links for social media are right there. Also, if you feel like you would like to donate to the channel, make sure to click on the link to PayPal. Any amount helps, a dollar, five dollars, twenty dollars. As a full-time YouTuber, any support from my fans really does mean a lot to me. Finally, make sure to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification icon. That way you're kept up to date on any new content I post to the channel. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll talk to you in the next video.